What's up, waste man? You need to know how to prove all the double angle formulae for your A-level exams. Now there's what, one, two, three, four, five of them. Super easy to prove. Um, but unlike the addition rules which I proved for you, which you don't need to know apart from tan, you need to know how to show all of these guys. Okay, so we start off with the sine 2x equals 2 sine x cos x. Now, you can only use the positive addition rules. For example, in this case, we're going to be looking for the sine addition rule. How do you remember the sine addition rule? It goes sine cos, sine cos. And I guess you can see uh, that here. So you go sine cos, sine cos, xy, yx. Sine keeps the sine the same. Okay? And the reason we need it to be plus is because for the double angle IDs, we're going to need these to be the same, and they add to make 2x. If it was a minus, they would cancel out to give you 0, and you would actually end up with sine of 0 is 0. I guess it proves that sine of 0 is 0. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to let x equal y. Yeah, so the whole point about double angle IDs is saying, look, we can use this for 30 plus 45, which is an exam question. Uh, I don't know. 45 minus 30 to find sine of 15. But what happens when we have 30 plus 30? So it's very specific rules for when the angles are the same. Now, when they are the same, we get sine of x plus x is, remember, sine. Here I'm basically just copying the same thing. Uh, it's just wherever I see y, I'm replacing it with x. And there we go, we're done. So we're left with sine of 2x is, these two are the same, 2 sine x cos x. Now because cosine has three expansions, we'll do those separately. Let's just very quickly do the tan 2x. So the expansion for tan. So remember, the numerator is sine over cos, right? So the sine on the numerator is going to be the same as the sine here. So it's kind of like an expansion, like distributing the, the tan. Tan x plus tan y all divided by 1 minus the multiplication of these two, tan x, tan y. Okay. Now again, we're just going to let x equal y. So let x equal y, we get tan of x plus x is tan x plus tan x, all divided by 1 minus tan x times tan x. And we simplify that. So we get tan of 2x is 2 tan x over 1 minus tan squared x. And that is the first two shown. Let's take a look at cosine. Let's take a look at the addition rule for cosine. So remember, the way we remember cosine, or as my students like to do it, is couscous. <laughs> so it goes cos x cos y, c changes the sine, sine x, sine y. And if you're enjoying today's video, guys, I'd appreciate if you subscribe and like the video for more content. And also, if you're interested in my full A-level courses, then check the link in my description for more information about that. So let's again take a look at when x and y are the same. So we're going to get cos of x plus x is cos x, cos x, minus sine x, sine x. So we get cos of 2x is cos squared, minus sine squared. That's the first one proved now. In general, this is never really used. It's used in some proof context, because here you can do difference of two squares, which is useful information for you. Um, but in general, it's not really used because when we use the double angle IDs, we like to keep it exclusively in terms of cos or sine, especially for solving, right? But you know, this is the one that then allows us to derive the others. So how can we keep the formula exclusively in terms of cosine? Well, we know that cos squared plus sine squared is one. So we're gonna get cos two x is cos squared x, Minus, now here you guys need to be very careful. You're doing a minus, 
but you're going to have two terms. So we know sine squared is equal to 1 minus cos squared. Do not write like this. You'd be baffed, right? Because then the cos squareds cancel. So you know that we need a bracket here. Okay. So cos 2x is cos squared x minus 1 plus cos squared. And we've all shown that question. Just show as much as possible. So we have cos 2x is 2 cos squared minus 1. And the last one, exclusively in terms of sawing. So we're going to have the same thing here, but I'm going to replace cos squared with 1 minus sine squared. Here you don't need the bracket because there's no coefficient here. So we're going to get cos 2x is 1 minus sine squared minus sine squared. Nice and easy, Mike. We can uh, simplify that to give you 1 minus 2 sine squared. Okay. Now, the most common question I get when I'm teaching my students trig is, is this in the formula booklet? Guys, let me tell you something about the formula booklet. If you need the formula booklet in your final A-level exams, you have not done enough revision. I have never used the formula booklet in my life. In fact, the only time I had to use it was, hey, are you guys going to call me unk, innit? But back in the statistics, our calculator could not do binomial uh, distribution calculations. We had to go to the tables. But otherwise, I never looked at the formula book for anything. And I did normal maths and further maths and got 100% in most of my modules. So these are the proofs. You need to know it for your final exams. And yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed. I'm going to do a hard question based on double angle uh, addition rules next. So stay tuned for that. Like the video if you enjoyed. And yeah, if you are interested in my full A-level courses, then check the link in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Nice.